Hi everyone and welcome to Home Reno Collectibles, where today we're going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Morbius the Living Vampire from the Venom Pool Builder Figure Wave. This is the last guy that we're going to be taking a look at before we get to the actual Venom Pool Builder Figure itself. And if you want to check out the videos for everything else in the wave, then go ahead and take a look at them on my channel. The box art for this looks really, really cool and it's the only one that isn't really symbiote related within the wave. But uh, there is everyone else and the Builder figure itself, which, as I say, will be next up. So, let's go ahead and get this thing out of the package and take a closer look. And here's Morbius out of the packaging. This figure does not come with any other accessories, so what you see here is what you get. He does look amazing. Whilst this is not my favourite uh, version of the character, it still does look really, really cool. Again, just like the past couple of videos, another character with a very kind of purple uh, tinge to the costume there. Uh, on the back here, we do have this uh, bright purple, practically pink uh, cape. It's really nice, and it's great how it pegs in, so you can kind of move it to one side or the other to show it kind of uh, billowing in the wind. That's really cool. But up at the top here, it does kind of look like it just comes from nowhere. Uh, it would be nice if it kind of came up a bit more. I know a lot of capes when they do come over the shoulder, those parts do tend to just kind of stick up and just look very out of place or something, but this kind of has that out of place feeling as well, just being just there on the back. Um, obviously you can take it off, it is in there with a single peg, and it's very lightweight and it holds in um, you know, very tight as well. Once it's actually in there, it's not going anywhere, so... It's a great addition. It looks fantastic. I love the sculpt of it. Apart from, I personally would have just had something else coming up over the shoulders there. Taking a closer look at this head sculpt, it looks amazing. The uh, the teeth and the uh, the mouth in general there is done really, really nicely, painted really well. Uh, the hair is pretty cool too. Um, the eyes, however, I mean, they are printed in a nice kind of, you know, the, the dot matrix kind of way. Um, the eyes are really clear, bright red. But that shading, the dot matrix around the ice, is just nowhere near dark enough to me. Um, on the box art, you saw really heavy shading around the eyes, and we just don't get it here. And I think what we have is just basically a face that's a bit too white in comparison to the rest of the figure. I think that could have done with a lot more shading. In terms of this figure's articulation, the head moves up and down, left and right, really nicely. A little bit of a wiggle. Shoulders move past, whoop, there we go, past 90 degrees and all the way around. We have rotation at the upper part of the arm, double jointed elbows, rotation and the hinge at the wrists. We have a decent crunch. The cape does move out the way for it too. It goes forward a decent amount. Uh, rotation at the waist, legs come out to the side, move forward, go back a little bit, rotation at the upper part of the thigh. We have a nice double jointed knees. The feet do move up and down. And we have a nice ankle pivot there as well. All the joints on mine are really nice and tight still. Overall, I do really like this figure. Uh, as for the rest of the body here, for example, these parts on the wrists here, I'm not sure if they're reuses or not, but they are separate pieces, so you can pull the wrists off and take those little cuffs off. Uh, the body just kind of looks like some kind of, you know, Ghost Rider or Star Lord kind of body. I'm not sure if it has been used for anything else, but I'm sure it will be used in the future for something else. Um, like I say, it's not my particular favorite version of this character, um, but it's a great one. It is a really, really good looking figure, but there's not really much for me to say about it because it doesn't come with anything else. Um, what's there is done really well. It's painted really well. Yes, it could do with a bit more shading on the uh, face, but in general, it's a good sculpt. It's a good looking figure. You need him to complete your Venom Pool, and uh, he's kind of the odd one out in the way of not being a symbiote, but... I think it is a fantastic figure. I mean, he is a vampire, so he still does need to live off other people and stuff. So I guess it is, uh, you know, kind of in relation to the rest of the wave. But yeah, in general, I definitely think that if you're a Morbius fan, you will enjoy this figure. So thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to see more from me, check out the videos on screen right now and the links to my social media in the description below. Stay tuned for more Marvel Legends and obviously the Builder figure. If you want to see them, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.